Dear learners, this is Aishwarya, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Uzur. In this video, we are going to see about the crystal free theory. Crystal free theory describes about the net change in crystal energy resulting from the orientation of a trans or the orbital of transition metal cation and the anion. So it is also called the ligon. So the major feature of transition metal is their tendency to form the complexes. A complex may be considered being a central metal atom or ion surrounded by a number of electrons. So interaction between these ligands with the central metal atom, it is called the crystal field theory. The CF theory was established in 1929. So it is the interaction between the metal ion and ligon as purely electrostatic where the ligands are considered as the points charges in vicinity of the atomic orbital of the central metal atom. The crystal field theory is often termed the ligon field theory. So it focuses on the effect of the ligands on the energies of d orbitals of the metals. So assumptions ligands are negative point charges. Metal and ligon bonding is 100% ionic. So it has a two field, strong and weak field. Strong field is a low spin, weak field is a high spin. Strong field is due to large splitting of d orbital, weak field due to the small splitting of d orbital. The crystal field theory explains the bonding in complex ion purely in terms of electrostatic force. The attraction between the metal ion and the ligands. The repulsion between the lone pair on the ligands and the electrons in the d orbitals of the metal. In the absence of the ligon, the d orbitals are degenerate. In the presence of ligon, the electrons in the d orbital experience different levels of repulsion for the ligon lone pair. As a result, depend, depending on the geometry, some d orbital attain higher energy, others are lower energy. So in order to understand the CFT interaction in transition metal complexes, it is necessary to have knowledge of geometrical or spatial disposition of d orbitals. So the d orbitals are five-fold degenerate in a free gaseous metal ion if a spherically symmetrically field of negative ligand field charge is imposed on a central metal ion the d orbital will remain degenerate but followed by some changes in the energies of free ion in the free ion energy increases attraction between the metal and ligand charges and repulsion due to the field shell then destabilization in of electron in the d orbital it crystal field spinning of d orbital in the chemical in environment in the high spin and low spin the complexion with a great number of unpaired electron is known as the high spin complex low spin con complex contains a lesser number of unpaired electrons so high spin complex are expected with the weak field ligon whereas the crystal fleet splitting energy is small the opposite applies to the low spin complexes in which strong field ligon cause maximum pairing of electron in set of 3 t2 atomic orbitals due to large delta high spin maxi number of unpaired electron low spin maximum number of minimum number of unpaired electron for example low spin complex and uh, high spin complex so strong field ligand is a low spin complex a sign is a strong field, so it is a low spin complexes. Fluorine is a weak field, weak field ligand, so it is a high spin complex. So the fluorine and cyanide also difference is high. Different cyanide difference is lower and fluorine higher and fluorine and difference is lower. Octahedral complexes. D, the z square and dx square minus y square orbitals have maximum electron density along the axis and point charge ligand so approaching the central metal ion in the same direction so hence the uh, these orbital experience stronger repulsion and increase in energy then dxz dyz dxy between the axis and the point charge and ligands are approaching the central metal ion in the same same dial along the axis 
so these orbital expenses less repulsion and decrease in energy so the orbitals dx z dyz dx y are lower energy into the in the octahedral complexes and the dz and dx square minus y square orbitals the high energy complex so d orbitals in an octahedral field ligands so the ligands are between the lobes of dxy dyz dzx so they are interacts the energy difference between the two sets equal to the delta 0 the t2g is lowered by the 0.4 delta 0 and the eg is raised by the 0.6 delta 0 so t2g is set of three orbital with lower energy dxy dyz dxz eg set of two orbital dx square minus y square dz square with higher energy when the d orbitals 5 fold degenerate the the splitting of degenerate level in the presence of ligand is known as the crystal fluid splitting the difference between energy of t2g and eg level is denoted by del del o the subscreen stand for octahedral some ligands tend to produce strong field thereby causing, causing the large crystal field splitting whereas some ligands produce the weak field thereby causing small crystal field splitting. The splitting of 5-fold degenerate orbital of the metal ion into the two levels in tetrahedral. The electrons dx square minus y square dz square orbital is less repelled by the ligands than the electron present in the dxy dyz dxz orbital. So, energy of the dxy, dyz, dxz orbitals are raised by by that the dx square minus y square, dz square orbitals are lowered. The crystal fluid splitting in the tetrahedral complexes. There are only 4 ligands in tetrahedral complexes. Therefore, the total negative charge of 4 ligands. In the, hence, the ligand field is less than that of the 6 ligand. The direction of the orbital does not coincide with the direction of the ligand approach the metal ion. The T2G set uh, 3 orbital dxy, dyz, dxz with higher energy. EG set of 2 orbital dx square minus y square, dz square with lower energy. The crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes is smaller in an octahedral field because there are only two third as many ligands and they have less indirect effect of the d orbital. The relative stabilizing effect of E set will be minus 6 d cube and destabilizing effect of T 2 G set will be plus 4 d cube. Splitting of d orbital in the octahedral field. So strong field ligands have the larger delta, val delta value. The crystal field stabilizing energy. The energy difference between the EG and T2G le level is given as R10 V cube. Each electron goes into the lower T2G level, stabilizes the system by an amount of minus 4 d cube, and the electron that goes into the EG level destabilized by the system plus 6 d cube. The T2G is lowered by 4 d cube and EG level is raised by plus d cube. This example in energy change for D5 and D10 system, it will be zero. The decrease in energy caused by the splitting of the energy level is called the ligand field stabilizing energy. So this is the crystal field stabilization energy table. This is for the weak field and strong field ligands. Thus, the crystal field splitting depends upon the produced by the ligand and the charge on the metal ions. The spectrochemical steering is arranging the ligand in order to feel strength. The d orbital takes place in the following manner. First, three electrons are arranged in a d2g level as per Ohm's rule. The fourth electron can either enter into the t2g level giving configuration. 
or can enter into the eg orbital giving configuration that depends upon the two parameter magnitude of crystal field splitting delta o and pairing energy delta o carry greater than the pairing energy electrons enter into the t2g level giving the configuration ligand producing the configuration are known as the strong field ligand and form a low spring complexes even the delta o is lesser than the p the electron enters into the eg level and it is then known as a weak field ligand and form the high spin complex weak field weak and strong field ligands limitation of cft it is expected the ionic ligand should have the greater splitting effect actually they found to be at lower and end of the spectrochemical series according to cft metal ligand bonding is purely electrostatic which is not so true the cf takes takes only d orbitals of central atom into account they and they are not considered for studies though hydroxide in spectrochemical series lies below water and ammonia yet it produces a greater splitting effect so cft gave no information about bi bond formation in ligand thank you